All right, guys, today on uh, Tools in Action, we're going over something. If you're on Periscope, you've probably seen a lot of Dan doing the CNC machine, designing and cutting out cool things. Today, we're going to go over the dust shoe. A while back, when we first got this, uh, it was a pain. It was a pain. I mean, stuff would go all over the place. We'd have to sit through with the vacuum, and then down, Dan, Don. Dan found the dust shoe vacuum, so. Yeah, you guys, when we first started this machine, we literally had to follow it with a vacuum. Yeah. Then I came up with a, an idea. Uh, I didn't come up with the idea. It was actually on inventables.com of putting, you know, this system on there where it would hook up and suck in, which wasn't a bad system at all. Yeah, it did it didn't grab a lot right. of it. But then when I went with this router, it blows straight down, so I started having problems, but I printed, I printed something out of here that would make it work. But anyways... I didn't want to do that. I wanted a complete dust-free option. So I, I found this company called Kent CNC, and what they do is they make dust shoes for all this equipment. And basically, you guys, what it does is you just hook your vacuum up here, and all the dust, I mean, this is dustless, you guys. I couldn't yeah. breathe down here before. Now, no problems. As you can see, there's zero dust. MDF creates the most dust yeah, when you're cutting. Does. Zero. Look at, I mean, even the outside of it's still clean. Uh, cool thing is, if you want to change it, Oh, that's nice and easy. Yeah, the ring just comes off. It's three magnets right here, you guys. So you can change your bit. You can go in there. You can do all kinds of stuff. Now, you may notice I have it at an angle. The only one situation I've had with this, which is kind of a, you know, not a negative, but you have to be aware of, is, you know, you have to fit this right. Because if your bit's way up in there and, you know, you're cutting up here, when this thing gets to a certain point. Oh, sh Damn it. Yeah. Tools in action. Um, basically, you guys, when this gets to a low point like that and it's moving, oh, it has gotcha. a tendency to get really rigid and it can move the machine up, which will give you irregular cuts like this. Okay. Like, this is what was happening when I was way low. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I was just really having some stepping issues. So, I was like, oh man, this sucks. This is, this is not working. No. All I had to do, you guys, was adjust it. I had to lower my router down. I shaved off the side which you're supposed to do with this mount, push it down, push this all the way up, and just make sure that my cutting bit is right at this height. So I generally now do not have a problem with it and it's running smooth. Nice. Yeah, definitely like that. So you guys, I'm gonna put the link at the bottom, Kent CNC, why would you want this? If you have an X-Carve and you want completely dust free, yeah. this is it. Now, everybody cuts out these by themselves. You know, you can cut your own out of plexiglass, this and that, that's great. You know, that's what these machines are for. They're for people that are creative and invent things. But I just rather pay Kent CNC, get it done. And it's, I mean, literally you guys, you can, no dust. And I'm just using a regular shop vac. So put it on. But that, the reason that, like I have mine at an angle, you guys, is it also helps prevent that, um, oh, it's the wrong way. It also helps prevent the uh, machine from doing that rise up. Okay. For some reason, just being offset like that really helps it. Um, even when the vacuum is pulled in there, I'm not having any issues. I mean, it really does a nice cut. I cut all this stuff out with it. So, that being said, check it out, you guys. I'll put the link at the bottom. X-Carve people, let us know what you guys think about it. Let us know what you think of the X-Carve. And uh, don't forget to check us out on Periscope where we, we carve at least once or twice a week on the X-Carve. Mm-hmm. Tools in Action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.